You probably recognize this man, but this is his real picture. On the left is actually a so-called morph of President Bush and college student Michelle Del Rosario. She agreed to be our morph target to illustrate a study by Stanford's Jeremy Balenson in the Public Opinion Quarterly. Morphed images that make a candidate's face resemble yours can subconsciously sway your vote. What we're demonstrating is that people make decisions about candidates on very superficial features. Uh, the simple fact of changing someone's face to make it a little bit more similar to you is enough to make you choose a different president. Balenson's team made 240 of these morphs, each tailored to a volunteer. One week before the 2004 presidential election, those same volunteers took an online voting survey that often included an image of one of the candidates morphed with the person taking the survey. One third of the volunteers saw real pictures. They gave Bush 46 percent of the vote and Kerry 44 percent. But the one third who had their photos morphed with Bush gave him a landslide 53 to 38 percent victory. And among those morphed with Kerry, Kerry won 47 to 41 percent. We changed the patterns of who they indicated they would vote for by a very large margin, uh, despite the fact that none of them consciously knew their own face had been there. Balenson says the effect was only seen among independent voters and people whose party identity was weak. He suspects that in this year's tight election, with so much tied up in race and gender, how the candidates look could prove to be a major factor. I'm Brad Closer.